Hi, welcome to the SDK tutorial provided to you by Farm and G Incorporated. First, let's access our SDK documentation. There are two ways that you can do this. The first one is going to farmng.com. And then you can go to the For Developers tab. and click the link to our documentation. And that will take you to the homepage for our SDK docs, or you can simply type in amiga.farm-ng.com and it will take you there as well. Our documentation walks you through the different parts of the Amiga, explaining what role they play and how the Amiga functions. Here is also where you will find a step-by-step -step guide on how to clone the correct repositories and install the right packages that will allow you to operate the Amiga. There are also examples and tutorials that you can go through to gain a greater understanding of how the Amiga works and how to navigate the brain and develop your own applications. This also explains who we are, what we do, and why we are here. It explains what comes with the Amiga and gives you a intro to where to begin. Let's start here with our Get Started page. This includes the Amiga Quick Start Guide, dashboard, firmware updates, Brain ADK installations, and the next steps after that. First, we will start here at our, at our Amiga Quick Guide. Here is where every user should start when they receive their Amiga. This page will tell you helpful information and required actions beginning with safety procedures while operating the Amiga. Once you have begun the safety procedures, you can then continue down the page using it as your guide to start immediate use of your Amiga. A more detailed tutorial on how to quickly start your Amiga will be available soon. Next, we have the dashboard firmware updates page which we will be releasing dashboard updates periodically from the FarmNG team. This page is to show you how to install those updates, where to start, and how to use our updater app via Wi-Fi to keep your Amiga up to date. Next, we have the Brain ADK installation page. This page is very important because it will show you how to clone into the necessary repository and get you set up to be able to code and develop your own apps on your brain. Now for the next steps, we do have many tutorials and examples that will show you how to develop your own custom apps. And you can visit those by going through this page and learning how to do that for yourself. Next, we have the Amiga Overview page and section. This breaks down the many different parts and components of the Amiga, such as the dashboard overview, the Amiga control state, debug and service cable overview, microcontroller kit overview, the brain and dependent overview. These are all very important components to the Amiga and will be very helpful for you to know this information. For the dashboard overview, this is a very technical overview and description of the dashboard. It talks about input power, power consumption, the screen, the ratings, what each port does, also the pinout of each port, and how it functions in the whole makeup of the Amiga. Next, we have an overview of the Amiga control state, which shows you how the flow of the power in the Amiga goes from startup all the way to e-stop. This states the descriptions for each state that could be in, such as boot, manual ready, auto active. And you can use this to get a better understanding of the hardware of the Amiga. Next, we are going to go into our debug and service cable overview. These are very important because this will be used to communicate through the dashboard from your system to the Amiga. The difference between a debug cable is that it has two ports, one for USB and one for serial. Also on this page, you can see the pinout of the cable as well, 
while also knowing how to connect it to the dashboard. Similarly, with the service cable, it only has the USB port, but even without the serial communication, you can still access this by starting up the dashboard in the Amiga into a bootloader state. Next, we will go to the micro microcontroller overview. This will show you how to set up your Feather, how to flash it, and everything else in between. This will show you about the pinout. It will show you about how to connect and also how to update it as well. It will give you help, uh, helpful tips and it will walk you step by step on how to get your Feather flash to the most current release that we have out now. Next, we have a brain overview. The brain overview is a very technical page that talks about the hardware of the brain. It tells you about the input power, the screen size, brightness, resolution, and the environment ratings. It also tells you about the Xavier computer components, the connections on the back of the brain, while also sharing with you the pinouts for the brain and for debugging. Next, we have the pendant overview, which shows you a very brief description of what the pendant is and what it does. It shows you how to connect it to the back of your dashboard and which port it goes into, while also telling you what each button and all the functionalities of the pendant are. This is very crucial because without the pendant, you cannot control the Amiga and it will show you how to calibrate the pendant, which is one of the first things that you should do when starting your Amiga for the first time. Last but not least, we have our resource and support tab. This shows you things such as recommended tools that will make it very much easier to deal with the Amiga and Amiga hardware. Some of these tools include wrenches, wire tools, Allen keys, and even something as important as a scissor lift. Here in this section, you can also find frequently asked questions that will be updated periodically, and you will find our support page, which will show you how to create an issue. It will also show you how to create a document request or feature request and how to report bugs. Finally, we have a way for all the users and Amiga customers like yourself to communicate within a community. We highly recommend that you join our discourse because there you will have the opportunity to connect with the community of Amiga users like yourself. Thank you so much for attending this tutorial. And if you have any questions, please contact us via Discord.